Eliminating what some consider a safe haven in North Carolina. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. Good evening, thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Alicia Barnes. Statistics show North Carolina has become a destination state for abortions. But a new bill could completely derail that. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, in the studio tonight. Emma, this new bill has very few exceptions. Yeah, very, very few, actually. For months, North Carolina lawmakers have been shying away from in introducing new abortion legislation. But for the first time since Roe v. Wade was overturned, a bill is in the mix that would completely ban abortion. Three Republicans filed House Bill 533, the Human Life Protection Act, none of which are from our area. The bill bans abortion from the moment of fertilization. It currently has no co-sponsors, and other Republicans in the House are refusing to comment on the legislation. Jillian Riley with Planned Parenthood South Atlantic was willing to comment and is extremely concerned about the impact this bill could have on North Carolina. This is a total ban either way, how, how you take it. Um, we know that the goal of the anti-abortion movement is to ban abortion in total throughout the state of North Carolina and throughout the country. And that's really what this bill does. The only exception written into the Human Life Protection Act is if the mother's life is at risk for various medical reasons, including an ectopic pregnancy. The bill also says doctors could face felony charges if they commit any action resulting in the death of an unborn child. North Carolina is a critical access point for abortion care across the southeast. Um, and it's incredibly important that we maintain access so that people in North Carolina and people coming to North Carolina are able to access care. If this ban or any other ban that, that were to restrict abortion access in the state, it would have devastating impacts for everyone across the state and for people coming into the state. North Carolina has the highest rate in the country of women traveling into another state to get the procedure done. I did reach out to all three sponsors of the bill, and none of them were available for interviews. I also reached out to a couple of Republican representatives who weren't directly involved, and I asked them what they thought, to which they responded, quote, no comment.